What's up fellow hunters, Nox here, welcome or welcome back. Today we're gonna talk Insect Glaive. Comfortable sets, fun sets, meta sets. Seven builds for you guys and some tips on how to adjust them for yourself, coming up. One important thing before we jump in. Don't get discouraged by my talismans if you don't have a similar one. I'll show some easy to get talismans after each build that will get you all the essential skills. Let's go. We're gonna kick things off with the Magic Blast. A super comfortable blast build with a bunch of extras. We're using the Magia Crescent. 200 attack, blue sharpness, massive 33 blast, and 3 level 1 slots. We have critical eye level 6 and weakness exploit for a high critical chance. Attack boost level 4 for a nice flat damage boost. Teostra's blessing which makes blasts go off faster. Level 3 protective polish to keep our sharpness at blue for a whole 90 seconds. Along with full speed sharpening to make it even more comfortable. The Azure Age chest piece is an absolute hidden gem for insect glaives. It gives us free constitution level 2, which lowers the stamina cost on all aerial moves. On top of that, we also have full stun resistance, which you can switch for anything else if you like. We even have another free level 1 slot left over that we can use however we want. A talisman with two level 2 slots will get you all the essentials while only dropping one level of protective polish. Invisible Torment. A poison build that will leave pretty much any monster you fight poisoned the entire hunt. We're using the Hazy Caster. 198 attack. White Sharpness with 1 level of Handicraft, 38 Poison, which turns into 50 with the build, and a whole bunch of slots, which makes this build highly customizable. One of the best Insect Glaives to use if you're just picking up the weapon or trying to learn it. Even if you're new to the moveset and might not hit weak spots all the time, the insanely high Poison will keep a steady flow of damage either way. We have a big stack of the base critical hit skills, attack boost level 5, and Poison attack level 3 as well as full protective polish and speed sharpening to comfortably maintain the white sharpness with ease. And this becomes an absolute nightmare for any monster weak to poison. The talisman I'm using is nothing that special. Any talisman with two level 2 slots will work perfectly, which gives you free choice to use whatever you like. Silent Victory. We're using the very popular Evening Calm. 198 attack, natural white sharpness, 40% affinity and a level 2 slot. A very solid weapon choice. We prioritize going for attack boost and max out the affinity on weak spots. For this weapon, we can choose whether we want to go for protective polish or master's touch to keep up the white sharpness. With a super high affinity and decent bit of white, I went for master's touch. This gives us an 80% chance of not losing any sharpness when landing a critical hit. Keep in mind that master's touch will only pay off if we can reliably get those critical hits. I'm using a talisman that allows me to get attack boost up to level 7 and add an extra level of stun resistance, which is always welcome. Any kind of talisman that allows you to get 3 levels of attack boost would be perfect, but just having 2 level 2 slots already makes this plenty strong. The Triclaw. One of the most destructive insect glaive builds you can make right now. Weapon of choice is the Tigrex or Tigrex insect glaive, however you want to say it. Insanely high 228 attack, natural white sharpness, minus 10% affinity, and a level 1 slot. It's raw damage and lots of it. We crank up the affinity as high as possible with critical eye and weakness exploit to offset the negative and deal as many critical hits as we can. And we have attack boost level 4 to push our attack up even higher. Then we add as much protective polish and speed sharpening as we can fit into the build to keep the white sharpness going. In addition to that, we have two levels of stun resistance as a bonus. And the cool thing is, you don't need any specific talisman to make this work. You could for example just use one with two level 2 slots and max out protective polish instead or fit in something else entirely. Making this not only strong but also very versatile. The Airlock. One of my favorite insect glaive builds to use. A setup for two different paralysis weapons. We have the highest of glaives with 180 attack, blue sharpness, 25 paralysis and a level 3 slot. And the Rampage Glaive S with 200 attack, blue sharpness, 15 paralysis and 20% affinity due to the customizations we chose for the Rampage slots. Plenty of hunters seem to underestimate the Rampage Glaive. I'll show a direct comparison of the final weapon stats with the build on right after this. That way you can make your own decision. We have the same base skill setup for high crit and attack boost. The difference here is that we go for extra attack boost over critical eye. We have maxed out protective polish and speed sharpening which makes this really comfortable as well. We only need two level 2 slots on the talisman to max out protective polish, which means anything will do. And you could for example use a talisman with extra paralysis, attack, critical eye, whatever you like. Both weapons will paralyze monsters super easily and be a blessing for your whole team. I personally like using the Rampage Clave because it means I get to beat up and paralyze monsters with a paintbrush. Now let's take a look at the final weapon stats. If all you want to do is paralyze monsters, then the highest of glaives is the more efficient choice. But if you want balance of good damage and still paralyze monsters fast, go for the Rampage Glaive. 
In terms of overall performance, it's the clear winner. It does have a much lower Kinsec level, but if we choose one of the speed bugs, it pretty much doesn't matter at all. All we need is for the Kinsec to be quick enough. If you're enjoying the video so far, your thumbs up would be greatly appreciated and helps out the channel. Next, we have a template for 4 out of the 5 elements, and the most effective glaive setups for each of them. Anjana for fire, Rajang for thunder, Gosorak for ice, and Mizutsune for water. As you can see below the weapon, Mizutsune is the only one with a slight difference here. We can use one handicraft deco with it to give it white sharpness. Definitely keep that in mind. I marked element attack boost in the skills to highlight that this works with any element. All we have to do is swap out the elemental decos according to what we're using. Aside from that, we have all our damage essentials intact and max protective polish. As you can see from the talisman, the only actual requirements would again be two level 2 slots for protective polish. The extra attack boost is just a bonus here. Which means you could use one that already has some element attack on it. That would free up some slots to add more speed sharpening for example. Radiant Light, one of the strongest dragon builds in Rise. We're using the Valstrex Insect Glaive. 178 attack, large natural wide sharpness, a massive 38 dragon and a level 2 slot. This build comes loaded with damage skills and can even outperform the full Valstrex set. We have all our base critical skills maxed out, max attack boost and max dragon attack. The fact that monsters weak to dragon tend to have very obvious and quite easy to hit weak spots is what makes this build so good. We can easily get critical hits consistently with this, which is quite a bit more difficult with the full Valstrex set. And we also don't have to rely on our health being at 80% or less to have a consistently good damage output, which makes this a much more convenient choice for most cases. Any kind of talisman that allows you to get 3 levels of attack boost would be perfect, but just having 2 level 2 slots already makes this plenty strong. There's a playlist with tons of builds in the top right if you want to check out some more. Thanks for watching, take it easy, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.